What's up YouTube? I'm going to be doing a video today on the Barons Hunter Sir Single Belt. Uh, Barons Hunter is a company out of Charlottesville, Virginia. Um, they've been making these belts for, I don't know, 35 years or more. They have a pretty interesting story. Um, I think they started in the 80s, but go to their About Us and read about them. Pretty cool company. Uh, they got a lot of great stuff, a lot of unique offerings, you know, with these Sir Single Belts. A lot of them are kind of the same, and they do a good job of being being the same, uh, what people that like these type of belts are interested in, but still being different at the same time. Um, their customer service is great. I uh, had an issue with the first belt. Uh, this These two are the first uh, order I've ever placed with them. Learned about the company through Instagram. Been wearing Sir Single Belts for probably 20 years um, and had never heard of them before. And, you know, I'm from North Carolina. They're they're my neighbor state and had still never heard about them. Um, don't know anybody that has them, uh, that sort of thing. So with my first order, I was super pleased. There was an issue with um, with how they had sewed this. This particular piece of leather right here, it was standing proud and was movable. Uh, excuse me, arm was itching. Uh, movable. And when you would go to take it out of your pant, it would get caught up in your belt loop and you could not get it out. And so the first time I put it in to try it on, you know, get a picture of it for Instagram, that sort of thing, um, I couldn't get the belt out. And, and it was kind of in my six o'clock stuck on the belt loop. And I couldn't figure out what was going on, so I had to take my pants all the way off to get the belt off because it was this had that much room and it was just stuck. So sent them some pictures of it, sent them an email, told them what the issue was, offered to pay the shipping there and the shipping back, and they were super awesome. Um, paid to ship it back. They paid to ship it back to me, even though I offered, which I thought was nice of them. Um, Great company. I have nothing but good things to say uh, about them and about their products. Had these belts now for, I don't know, six or eight months. Uh, got a lot of wear out of them. Got a lot of compliments on them. Um, these particular belts were uh, custom made by them. They have uh, pre-configured offerings that you can buy. And then they have the offering to our uh, option to make them to your specification. So that's what I did with these two. Um, if you'll notice how I configured these was with the crocodile embossed um, leather, which I thought was a cool offering. Haven't really seen that from anyone else um, who makes these style of belts. So I thought that was really cool. Um, really cool thing about them is that they offer that. I've been super pleased with these belts. A difference between these belts, and I'll talk about this in another video, is I didn't really even think much about it. Didn't really look at the description because all the belts that I'm aware of, or not that I'm aware of, but that I have at least experienced in, in my years of wearing these type of belts every day, is that they're inch and a quarter, uh, where these are actually an inch and three eighths. Um, and it really didn't hit me until... Uh, really within the last week or so that, that there was a difference. Because again, I've worn these quite a bit, but but not as much as you would think. Um, I'm kind of saving these more of, at least at this time, as sort of Sunday belts. And, and you know, I'll wear these to, to certain events where, where it's fitting. Um, and so really hadn't had a ton of time with them to, to sort of really notice that. And it's not like, you know, when I buy belts, I get the tape measure out and measure what, what the width of the belt is. If it doesn't say it in the description, you know, or I'm not really thinking much of it, you know, I, I wouldn't even have been thinking about it. So just something interesting to note. I know some khakis, their belt loops are smaller, their waistbands are smaller, um, and some of them are larger. So, you know, I guess there is a, a, a reason and and the benefit of having these belts over, say, a Leatherman uh, Limited, which it, which is an inch and a quarter. Me, personally, I prefer the inch and a quarter. I like the smaller belts, but I um, still really like these two. They, they have a place. Um, so I'm going to show, excuse me, common theme with all my videos is I end up bumping this 
tripod. Again, I'm new to these videos, just ordered a tripod recently just to get some of this content out for you guys since there's really no real information out there on these. Um, so this is their crocodile embossed leather. This is their ribbon offering, um, which is really neat. Again, sort of a differentiator. I don't know any other company that offers a sort of a, I mean, this is like a, a tie silk. Um, it feels as if there is some sort of sur single belt underneath this and that this is sewed uh, on top of it. Um, but again, here are the tabs. You can see how they're sort of how they're starting to get broken in. They do a good job of, of sort of edge dressing these, uh, which is, is different than, say, Leatherman Limited, where it, it seems to be a single ply, at least the configuration that, that I have on the majority of mine. Um, whereas this, if you can see, oh, there we go. Yeah, if you can see, it's actually two pieces of leather put together and then stitched, uh, which is very nice. And then they edge dress it with black, which is a nice touch. I mean, it's something they didn't have to do and they're sort of going above and beyond. So uh, just wanted to do a little quick, quick video on these just to get some information out there about them. This one, I'm, I'm wondering how well it's going to hold up. So far, it's holding up great, you know, being tie silk, running in and out of your pants and and stuff like that. I was kind of worried that it would fray, but so far, I mean, it's actually holding up really well, and I uh, really don't have any complaints. Again, these belts are handmade, um, so there are a little bit of idiosyncrasies to them, but to me, that's, um, to me, that's just charming. Um, I prefer things that are handmade because they have a soul to them. Um, they're not saying that I don't like machine-made stuff, but, um, you know, there is just something charming about something that's handmade that uh, that I just really like. And I just, I love this little touch. I just think that's really neat. Um, doesn't really do anything, but I, I really do like that a lot. But anyway, just wanted to do a quick video on these. Hope everybody is doing well. Thank you for watching my videos. If you like my content, like this stuff. Um... Not necessarily trying to get a big following or anything here, but do want people that are looking for these type of things to be able to get information on them uh, and get to kind of see them up close and hopefully buy some for themselves. So share these videos. Look at my other videos. There will be on similar content. There's really no content like mine on YouTube so far. There are onesie twosie videos kind of talking about Ivy style or, or traditional style, but you know, a lot of what's going on in the market right now are the sort of more Italian-esque um, clothing, less of the sort of traditional Americana, which I'm more interested in. I love the Italian stuff too, but I really love the American stuff. I uh, really love the old prep uh, aesthetic, if you will. I've been dressing like that pretty much my entire life uh, since I was a small child. And um, always loved it. Didn't really know uh, growing up that that it really was a, a, a niche or anything like that. I just was always drawn to this stuff. Was lucky enough to live in an area that, um, even though I'm in the South, that people dressed in the sort of New England ivy. I guess you could consider it Southern prep uh, style. And it just sort of rubbed off on me. I just really loved it, even as a small child. So... Wanted to get some information out there on this stuff. Uh, a lot of the people that, that dress like this, as, as time goes on, you know, I guess less and less people dress like it. Um, I'm 30 years old and um, hope that, uh, that other young people sort of pick it up. So I want to get information on this out there because there's just not really any information. I know I'm, I'm sort of rambling and repeating myself, but because again, these are just my thoughts. I don't follow a script. I'm, I'm just a guy with a camera and some thoughts and 
you know, a lot of people that dress like this, they're, they're not making videos about it. Um, they probably never even thought about making videos about it. So as a result, not a lot of info out there, and I just want to do my part, um, what little bit I can, I can do to, to promote this style of dressing and, and style of living. So thanks so much for watching my videos, putting up with me bumping the camera, putting up with me rambling. Um, hope you guys are doing well, and I will catch you in the next one. Cheers.